else was um, either uh, me, myself, and I, or my wife, uh, as well as our kids. We all pitched in and did a lot um, of work and enjoyed the experience quite a bit. A couple of projects that come to mind right off the top of my head um, would be Gonzo's build, um, Guam Guam, um, a lot of input from Big Mouth DC, um, as well as Old Man, and of course, um, China Dog and Sandman's Massive 3. Because we knew we wanted a very uh, comfortable space, but we also wanted the theater um, look and feel of having some recliners uh, that face the screen um, so that I could have access behind the screen because I really need access for a, a bunch of different reasons. And you'll see how easy it is to just lift it. What you it. see here um, is the acoustic treatments uh, for the front sound stage. And it was really important to try to dampen uh, the low frequencies as well as treat uh, the high frequencies. So we got acoustic. You have a typical phone. setup like this where you have a myriad of different remotes, each one with different size buttons, each one with a different layout and each one has very different functionality. There's a little LED that flashes pulses of light from the remote to the device that it controls and based on those pulses of light is how it sends commands such as changing RS232 the volume. RS-232 is a control standard that was developed in 1962 and typically the standard has changed very little since 1969. iPod that we've installed the iRoll application on it and we'll give you a quick overview of how the device runs. The other feature that is included in the iRoll that makes it a little bit different than a typical um, remote is that we've also leveraged things like the landscape versus portrait pages and they can be very different pages so it's a very convenient way of creating macros or creating secondary screens. I can control it using gestures and the way I do that is just swiping up, down, left, right, and enter. With, uh, having the walls around the couches that provides places to uh, stick your drinks or you know popcorn bowl um, and it just kind of gives it that it goes along with the elegant look of like type of like box seats like you find at the old older type theaters. Uh, the principle behind an infinite baffle is uh, you're using a room another room as the actual subwoofer box. And the bass that it produces is, is just phenomenal. Was, this was also one o'clock in the morning. My wife came storming down and uh, told me that the beds were shaking upstairs and woke our daughter up and her up uh, out of her sleep. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to design in with the half walls and one of the reasons I went with the half walls is to uh, incorporate these uh, bars. Uh, I custom built the panels and um, cut out the holes to custom fit everything. You can here. slide the door out and then go ahead and close it when you get the door all the way out. She left one day and I took a sledgehammer to a couple of walls and she came back and very politely asked me what the heck I was doing and I told her there was no turning back at that point. Um, and, and that's how this room came about. Um, it took me about uh, three months to build and and uh, I just love everything and about using it. wire rope and a pulley system on the bottom and then just gravity on the top I can manually change the dimensions of building the, the main speakers took about about three weeks um, there's a lot of internal bracing each speaker weighs about 110 pounds uh, a piece and uh, the mid range drivers are actually tunneled through the rear of the speaker and so the idea behind that um, is hopefully you've learned a little bit and uh, we'll take something away from this. Uh, go Hawks and enjoy your movies.